so I've made a couple of videos talking about Team Kenya's performance outside our borders, talking about 3x3 and 5x5 basketball. And just not too long ago, I talked about like how the team selection for Team Kenya is rigged for both for 3x3 and 5x5. And it's rigged and, it, and the rigging continues because right this weekend from Friday to Sunday will be treated to some 3x3 basketball by Team Kenya. You can see the men's team are in Pool B. They're going to match up against Benin, Madagascar, Morocco, and Mali. And the women will match up against Benin, Madagascar, Morocco, and Nigeria. So let's just talk about this. So I saw this poster and I just made a video immediately just talking about it, just saying uh, how I felt, how my how I've seen like the way the team selection is done. I don't think it's made based on merit basis. It's just if you're part in if you're all in on the gag and you're just well connected you're just going to be on that squad and this is no different because they have so the kenya basketball federation have released this poster on their instagram and i've not seen like a roster i've not seen them training i've not seen any preparation i've not seen even like the provisional roster that's supposed to be there mind you this thing this thing is going to happen in like the next three days the itinerary has not been reported on and it's actually quite fascinating that we are just uh, everyone is just quiet talking about this and i just know what they're going to do they're just going to just do the same thing that they are used to be they have they are used to they are just going to produce the same players that went for poland that's the same thing that happened in the the 3x3 games in poland and even the algeria 3x3 you could see i didn't see like much preparation going into it I just saw like a, a team that was hurriedly assembled. They're just going to use the same players that they continued with. And honestly, there's no improvement at all. Because well, why is it that this 3x3 is happening first to third and the trials are happening 8 to 10th? I know they, they, this, is, this, is a, this is just a PR stunt that they are doing just to show that they are looking for new players. But if they really, really wanted to do some roster retooling, there was an opportunity for that because you could have at least even put a provisional roster that was training for these games other than just keeping quiet and just, you know, letting this day, the games pass by, just mint the, mint the visas, mint the air tickets and just send our team there. And we're not even seeing any, like, um, we're not seeing any update on it. And majority of the time, when that happens, it just it just screams not prepared. It just screams lack of preparation. It screams lack of professionalism. And why is it that you're putting the tryouts after? So the players who are just going to who are just going to play there are just gonna go play there for fun, uh, waste some resources in there in the process, go in, go to tryouts again. The player that just wants to be in that ecosystem is just going to get shafted that the way this the same way that they have been been accustomed to and everyone is just you know quiet and not talking so the cartel that is running kenyan basketball is the reason as to why there's so much dysfunction like this because i was expecting a roster i was expecting a team to to emerge and in their training in their training even like three weeks four weeks ago they should be in training camp doing this, but it's just quiet. There are no updates. It's just, you know, first to third, we are going to go there. And the funny thing is, I saw a Saki Levin and reacted to it. I said, like, the Ministry of Sports, they are cracking down on, you know, all, all these trips, and they are going to eliminate the non essential trips. So if we continue carrying on the same way, this is just going to be listed as a non essential trip. And there's a likelihood that we might miss it because our performance is not that encouraging, especially coming from the men's side. The women's side, I know the competition is different, but it is what it is. And majority of the time, when when you hear such circulars come out, there's a money constraint. And even doing an audit on all the 3x3 contests we have gone to, there's still a lot to be desired and still the same players are just, you know, finding themselves going out there and giving up the same result. There's zero to zero to none improvement. There's there's no improvement at all. Like you'll find the same way that these players have been playing 
last last July in the Nations League and even the Poland games is the same output you're gonna get. So without any significant preparation, we're just setting ourselves up for failure. And even even if you try to like pull the wall over people's eyes saying that there's a tryouts, we all know what the gymnastics that happen in there. There are people who are already there on the roster and they are, they wouldn't they will not they have not even attended even a single training session but they'll still be on the final list of the national team so the corruption honestly needs to stop and this is really hurting kenyan basketball a lot because the the thing is even i mentioned in a post that i created on my facebook and also on twitter i said this as much as kenyan basketball players are going outside to represent their own country they're also representing themselves the their personality is all it all comes out through how they play so if we are tagged as a country that plays poorly and they go out there and misrepresent us and play play poorly we're going to be stereotyped and countries are going to know that kenya does not produce any good basketball players like that so any good basketball players cannot come from Kenya. So if these people go out there without lack of preparation and go out there and embarrass us, it's just going to uh, tarnish the name of Kenya. Kenyan, the Kenyan name is just going to be tarnished again. And given the fact that our 5x5 basketball has been poor as well, and our 3x3, the, men's are, the, the, the men have been very poor, it's not like even the women are like that good. It's just that, you know, men and women's different type of you know it's a different type of contest in there so it's not the same so majority of the time when those outcomes happen those poor outcomes happen there's a stereotype that goes around and we are tagged like that so i don't want that to happen i i really don't like uh to see my country get embarrassed like that honestly if there's lack of preparation i would just prefer if we just forfeit if they're gonna go there and embarrass us it's best we, we, we just cancel it and just channel that money somewhere else. can even save that money for the Afro Basket because even with the 3x3 games that I've covered uh, through through this year and even the 5x5, majority of the 3x3 players come from the 5x5 you know, basketball teams. So there are no specific players who play for 3x3 alone. So majority of the time, you're seeing... The same mistakes that they have even when they play five on five is the same mistakes that they're gonna carry in three x three. So there's no need to embarrass our country more. Because in the Poland games we got embarrassed. The men only won by a technicality, the women only won one game out of four games. So you can see it's deplorable. And if we have the same outcome, if the men have the same outcome as the way we saw in the in the Nations League, honestly, you should even question like, why do they, why do we keep sending these the same people there? The only person that I feel like um, needs to be there on that roster is Elisha. That's the only guy. All the others, you just need to get rid of them because there's nothing that they're producing. And honestly, any international or continental assignment, there has to be players who are good at what they do not just good in terms of like you know you think that they are good they have to be good skill wise when they are being taken to you know such platforms so i just said let me just talk, talk about this because I, I, it's funny how uncharacteristically uncharacteristically quiet people are and people are not saying anything it's so quiet nobody says nothing they just want to you know uh, use this as an avenue to just get a free trip I know the officials are just licking their chops right now because they know uh, this uh, this Thursday or even on Wednesday they are going to be traveling outside, so they just want to travel. So it begs the question: Do these do these people even have integrity, or they just okay with just embarrassing our country? And is is it okay? Honestly, I don't like it at all. And this is one thing that uh, really. I can say it grinds my gears a lot. So that's all I got for you guys. So if you guys like the video, make sure you leave your feedback down in the comments on what you think. And uh, this is embarrassing, man. I'm out. Peace.